centuries after the end of the Horus Heresy, the Shadow Legion had found and claimed a new world for their own, the planet Talrak. Talrak was primarily harsh desert. Deep rocky canyons had scarred the surface. No intelligent life or colonies could be found on Talrak. The Shadow Legion's claim to this world was undisputed. Over a century had passed with the Shadow Legion undisturbed by alien or Imperium alike. Their sensors had detected a vessel entering the planet's atmosphere. Upon further examination, the vessel was found to be a bio-ship. The Primarch clone had ordered the Shadow Legion to defend their home from this invasion. The Shadow Legion fired their weapons into the descending craft. Although upon impact with the bio-ship, the craft retroactively responded. Bio-jelly film shot down towards the Space Marine Legion, but in the end, the Shadow Legion had failed, and the bio-ship crashed, embedding itself deep in Talrak's surface. The creatures aboard the ship burrowed through the planet, eating the world, tearing it apart. Fissures began to take, and the planet was breaking apart from the stress. Green crystalline growth emerged from the crust of the planet, later known to the Shadow Legion as Taurasite. The Primarch clone, resolute in that the Legion will stay, was unable to break his mental conditioning planted in him by the Emperor. But darker powers in this universe had more ambition for him, breaking the mental conditioning planted within him. The Primarch clone had ordered the Shadow Legion to take to the ships and evacuate Talrak. As the last cruiser left the atmosphere, Talrak lost its integrity and collapsed upon itself, leaving the Shadow Legion as nomads of the galaxy once again.